Alzheimer's impacts half of all black families. HSC is investing in a new research study to find out why. To join, please visit blackalzbrainstudy.com or call 817-735-2963. It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. Number one. Derek Chauvin was found guilty Tuesday afternoon on all three charges in the murder of George Floyd. The jury of seven women and six men deliberated for more than 10 hours over two days. The 12 jurors found him guilty of second-degree unintentional murder, third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter. Sentencing is expected to take place in the next six to eight weeks. Number two, the murder trial of former officer Derek Chauvin in George Floyd's death has prompted many prominent white figures to shine a light on the epidemic of police brutality. Conservative evangelical preacher Pat Robertson called the shootings an onslaught of violence against black Americans. And over the weekend, CNN host Chris Cuomo argued that police reform will only happen when young white people are impacted at the same rate as young people of color. Number three, a Walgreens pharmacy in Monroe, North Carolina has contacted patients after mistakenly administering shots of saline instead of the coronavirus vaccines last month. According to a Walgreens statement, the saline injections were often used in training for medical professionals and that none of the 22 customers were harmed by that mistake. Last month, multiple people who went to a clinic at a Virginia Kroger to receive COVID-19 vaccines were mistakenly given empty syringes. Number four, after attempting to run over a group of black children with his truck in Holbrook, Massachusetts, Shane Belleville, who is white, has been charged with hate crimes. Belleville drove his truck on a paved path towards a group of black children who were leaving school, slapped a teenage girl, and drove in reverse towards the children while yelling racial slurs. Belleville was charged with assault and battery, four counts each of civil rights violations, and assault with a dangerous weapon. Number five, Beyonce's Ivy Park and Kanye West Yeezy are just two of the major partnerships with celebrities that keep Adidas at the forefront of fashion and culture. The Gap hopes to capitalize off the culture and Kanye's $3.4 billion to $4.7 billion Yeezy brand brilliance in the same way. According to Bloomberg, roughly $970 million is attributed to the new Gap Yeezy partnership dropping in stores this summer. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Negativity is like a cancer. It kills. So inhale positivity, exhale that negativity. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Myra J. and Stephen Hill as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Black Voters Matter, and the University of North Texas Health Science Center at Fort Worth. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.